Hello, it's Grandma Nancy and I have another book for you. This one is a level one reader by National Geographic Kids about owls. So it has some words in it that you might know. Owls by Laura Marsh. Starts off with a table of contents. That way, if you want to learn something specific, you could just go to that page. Who are you? What hoots in the night and flies through the air? What has feathers and big eyes but does not have hair? You may never see one, but you'll know if you do. Did you guess? Yes, it's an owl. That's who. That's a snowy owl. And up here it says, what do you call an owl with a sore throat? A bird that doesn't give a hoot. Get it? It's got a sore throat. It can't hoo. Silly. Many owls. There are more than 155 kinds of owls. Owls can be big or small. Their faces can be round or shaped like a heart. That one is a barn owl. Is that a heart or a round? Up here is an eagle owl. Eastern screech owl. Hmm. Oriental bay owl and a great gray owl. Do some look more round and others look like hearts? Owls come in lots of colors and patterns too. I see gray and brown and black and maybe even a little bit of reddish or orange. And they have different colored eyes. Can you see their eyes? Owls everywhere. That is a barred owl. Not a barn, barred. Like bars on a window. And I can see it has the lines. That's a great horned owl. Somebody drew that one. Owls live in cold places and hot places. They live in rainforests and just deserts. Owls also live in the mountains and near the ocean. And you know what? I thought somebody drew that, but really that's a picture. Wow! That's a tricky picture. Hot shot hunters. Owls are great flyers. They are also great hunters. Most owls hunt at night and their bodies are made for hunting. They have wings, strong wings that can move quickly and quietly so they can swoop down and go fast. Ears. They're pointing to the side of their head. They don't have sticky outy ears like us. Great ears help owls hear animals that they want to eat. An owl can hear a mouse on the ground 75 feet away, which means it can be way up in a tree and still hear a mouse or maybe even a rabbit rustling on the ground. Eyes. Owls see better at night than any other bird. They can spot their food quickly in the dark. A beak. A sharp curved beak tears meat into bits. Feet. Powerful feet can pounce on their food. See their beak and their feet? Talons. Talons are on their feet. They're like really long, sharp toenails. 
they can grab and carry the food. And that's a northern spotted owl. And in the box, it says bird box. Sharp claws on birds that hunt and eat meat. Talons. Owls watch their prey carefully, but they cannot move their eyes. They turn their heads to follow their prey. That's a little owl. And that's a short-eared owl turning its head upside down. Can we keep our eyes straight? Oh, my eyes moved. That's kind of weird. If you're an owl, I don't know if I'd like being an owl. Owl heads turn much farther than human heads do. Owls can even see behind them. They can even twist their heads almost upside down, like that one. I can't really do that. In the bird box, prey. An animal that is eaten by another animal. A short-eared owl. I don't see any ears. Owls are very quiet flyers. They can sneak up on their prey. An owl has special feathers on its wings. The feathers have extra soft edges, and that helps make the wings quiet. Prey cannot hear the owl flying toward it. Whoosh. Quiet like the wind. What do you call an owl on wheels? A hooter scooter. <laughs> that was silly. Dinner time. This is a western screech owl and it caught something. Many owls eat small animals like mice. Some owls eat insects, snakes, or fish. Other owls even eat small birds and bigger animals too. Owls do not chew their food. They don't have teeth. Owls tear food with their sharp beaks or they eat their prey whole. If I eat my food whole without chewing, I choke. I guess they don't really have that problem. Owl homes. I'm guessing they live in a tree. Young great horned owls, right over here. And these are young burrowing owls, ooh. Owls travel to different areas to hunt, so they don't call just one place home. They often just pick a tree to rest in. But young owls stay in or near a nest. They stay until they learn to fly. Owl nests may be in trees, I guess that, or on the ground. Burrowing means they make holes down under. So some owls live on the ground. Hmm. Hide and seek. These owls are hiding. Can you find them? They look like the land and trees around them. This is called camouflage. It helps keep the owls safe from enemies. And in the bird box, it says, Camouflage, an animal's natural color or shape that blends in with what is around it. Do you see the owls in these pictures? There's a short ear owl in here. And an African scops owl somewhere in here. Do you see it? A snowy owl and a little owl. Let me see. Snowy owl must be in the snowy one. And a little owl is peeking in here. They hide pretty well, don't they? Seven cool owl facts. One, owls have feathers all over their bodies. Even 
They even have feathers on their legs. There you can see little owl legs. See? Two. The Eurasian eagle owl has a very large wingspan. Its wings stretch about as long as your couch. So if you get in the middle of your couch and you look to the ends, that's how big and long those owl wings are. I bet some are smaller though. Number three. The elf owl is the smallest owl. It is about as tall as a cell phone. So maybe as tall as a hand. That's tiny. I'd like a little cute owl. There's a picture of the little tiny owl. Number four. Great gray owls can hear a mouse moving under the snow. Their talons grab the mouse through the snow. Eee! Can't even hide. They would hear it and grab it. Five. Great horned owls are not picky eaters. They are the only animals that will often eat skunks. Pew. I wonder how they smell. Do you think those owls smell the things very well? Six. Owls don't have ears that stick out like ours do. Their ears are just holes on the sides of their head. Here. If you look at our ears, we do have a hole, but then we have all this other part. This helps the sound go into our ears. Number seven. Owls have two toes in the front and one in the back and a fourth toe that can move either way to help grab things. You see that? I would not want that to grab me. Bird box, wingspan, the length from the tip of one wing to the tip of the other wing. Like that one. We have an arm span because we have arms. So if you stretch your arms way out, arm span is from the tip of our fingers to the tip of our other fingers. A nest of babies. A mother owl lays about two to six eggs at one time. And she sits on the eggs until they hatch. That makes sense. Owls that have just hatched have soft, fluffy feathers. Young owls are called owlets. There is an egg. I think there's a baby owl in there. These are snowy owl owlets. What are they doing? One is kind of awake, a couple look like they're resting, and one is yawning. They're in their nest. Here is a tawny owl, owlet. Getting bigger. Every day the owlets grow bigger. They grow new feathers, too. The father owl often brings food to the family. The owlets learn to fly and hunt as they get older. Hmm, this is a great owl. These babies are going to have mouse for dinner. Do you want mouse for dinner? I'm sure your mom or dad could try to go catch one. Who hoots? Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a Cape Eagle Owl. I like that. And try making a hooting call out your window at night. And then listen carefully. An owl just might return your call. I've done that. I say, ooh, ooh. And then I listen. And sometimes I hear a sound back. But not all owls hoot. Different owls have different calls. Some owls screech. That's kind of like a 
almost a scream, like, ah! Others hiss, whistle, or even bark. What do you hear? What did the owl say when it was time to say goodbye? I will be seeing you. That's silly. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of owls. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. Picture one. Hint, they can carry dinner. Do you remember the word? And the owl's feet and nails? Talon. Number two. Hint, these are all over an owl's body. Owls don't wear clothes because they have feathers. Number three. Hint, they work well even in the dark. You know what that is? That's an eye. Number four. Hmm. A young owl is called this. Do you remember that silly little name? An owlet. Five. Hint. An owl needs these to fly. They stretch out their arms? No, they stretch out their wings. Number six. The hint is an owl uses this instead of teeth. And this is a funny picture of it. This one's black. Some could be yellow. Some could be other colors. They open it. They can talk. They grab their food. Yep, that's the owl's beak. Here's a word bank. Feathers, beak, eyes, owlet, talon, wings. Ah, this has some explanations. Camouflage, an animal's natural color or shape that blends in with what's around it. Prey, an animal that is eaten by another animal. That's camouflage. That shows a picture of prey. So the mouse is an owl's prey. Down here, talons, sharp claws on birds that hunt and eat meat. And the wingspan. There's the talons. They grab on. And the wings, the wingspan when their wings are all stretched out. And that's the end of this book, but look, they have other books available. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. Have a good night.